and welcome to the Royal Corps of Signals and their Army Apprentices College in Harrogate, Yorkshire. You're probably watching this video in an Army Careers Information Office similar to the one shown here. After introductions, you will be interviewed and invited to undergo various tests. If all goes well, you may be offered a year's junior leader course or a two-year apprenticeship at the Royal Signals Army Apprentices College. If you decide on a career in Royal Signals, you will need to be both a soldier and a tradesman. Here at the Apprentices College, we have two types of junior soldier, the junior leader and the apprentice. Before you join the college, your parents will have been invited to visit and view the facilities. On your arrival, you will be met at the station by a member of staff and taken to the college which is situated on the outskirts of town. You will be shown to your accommodation and have the opportunity to meet other new recruits like yourself on their first day in the army. You will join a recruit troop in one of the four squadrons of the college. Your first week is known as induction week. This entails the fitting and issuing of free military clothing and equipment. As well as a visit to the college hairdresser, there is another more extensive medical to ensure that you are fit to undergo the training ahead. While you are at the college, you will be paid, fed and accommodated. Although all servicemen are required to pay a small charge for food and accommodation. You will also get 11 weeks paid leave each year. Once this introduction is over, your basic training will begin in earnest. The syllabus includes drill, military training, including weapon handling and firing, field craft and tactics, first aid, and training in nuclear, biological and chemical defense. Of course, there is physical training and lots of sport to develop teamwork. Confidence. And self-discipline. Basic training finishes after 14 weeks with a recruit pass-off parade which your parents are most welcome to attend. The young men selected for apprenticeships now begin one of five courses offered by the college. The apprentice technician specializes in electronics. He learns the principles of communication systems, engineering and how to install, maintain and repair communications equipment. The training given qualifies you for the award of the Business and Technical Education Council Certificate or BTEC and most will achieve this on graduation. There are four telecommunications operator apprenticeships. The linguist is taught a foreign language to group three, linguist level, and to operate high-grade radio and associated equipment, including direction finding and jamming stations. Early promotion as an adult soldier can be expected with excellent prospects of progress through the ranks to warrant officer and subsequent commissioning. 
the special operator is taught to receive high-speed morse, the use of keyboards, computers, sophisticated radio communication equipment and other special skills. Career prospects for this trade are also excellent. The telegraphist also trains in the use of the Morse code, as well as high power radio and associated equipment. He often works on isolated detachments and has the opportunity to serve in maritime units. with foreign armies and on attachment to the special air service or parachute regiments. He may even find himself manning a strategic satellite communications link back to the United Kingdom. The systems operator sets up, controls and operates computerized communications systems. He learns to type and is taught to operate telegraph, facsimile and data equipment. As part of his training, he obtains a heavy goods vehicle license. The junior leader course, meanwhile, concentrates on the development of military and leadership qualities prior to the commencement of trade training at Catterick or Loughborough. There will be a degree of education we need to tell you how the army, and not just the Royal Signals, fits into today's world. We'll also teach you about money and other financial matters, as well as general studies and academic subjects towards gaining your education for promotion certificate. However, it's not all classroom work. In fact, you probably join to ensure you get away from the classroom. So we put special emphasis on adventure training and external leadership, which includes activities such as canoeing, abseiling, rock climbing, and potholing. The college is justifiably proud of its achievements in the major sports of rugby, football, hockey, cricket, and cross country. There are also numerous minor sports, such as sailing, judo, archery, in fact, too many to mention. We have facilities for over 30 hobbies, including video production. Model making, metalwork, and the college band. In between, there's still time for you to relax in the Naffy Club, the college's own cinema, or the local town of Harrogate. Development of a sense of responsibility is fostered by the college rank structure, which is mirrored on that of the adult army, that is, from lance corporal to regimental sergeant major. One young man will achieve the ultimate position of apprentice tradesman regimental sergeant major and he will conduct his term's graduation parade. Royal Signals are looking for fit, smart, well-disciplined, self-motivated and determined young men ready to accept the challenge of today's army. We need intelligent, capable, self-confident tradesmen who will operate and maintain the high technology communications equipment of tomorrow. If you believe that you possess the qualities we're looking for, there may well be a place for you as a junior leader or an apprentice at the Royal Corps of Signals Army Apprentices College in Harrogate.